I'm going to be doing a review of Flappy Bird. So, first of all, let's get on to one of the most important aspects of a game, which is creativity. Alright, I mean, this game isn't that original. I mean, I mean, I mean, come on, just look at it. I mean, the, the actual gameplay itself bears very close resemblance to, you know, those Donkey Kong Country turns levels where you were riding on the rocket barrel. Don't you remember that? So, I'd sort of rip off of that in the pipes. Couldn't they have used something else? Why did they use the Super Mario Brothers pipes? Why did they use that? They could have used something else. They could have used maybe, I don't know, skyscrapers. They could have used chimneys. And they could have used something else. But pipes from the Mario series? Why? But anyways, I mean, let's just move on from this aspect. And, oh yeah, one more thing about the creativity. Another mobile game with birds in it. Come on. Come on, you can come up with something more original than that. Birds. Huh. Anyways, let's move on. The actual gameplay itself. It's very addictive. This is an addictive game. I mean, I usually play in short bursts, but it's actually quite addictive. And you always feel motivated to beat your score, because you always feel like, you know, I can do better than this whenever you fail. So it makes you want to try again and again. And the, and the gameplay is overall simplistic, but at the same time, very fun. It's a fun game. So basically, um, you just tap, and if you don't tap, then mm, your bird collides with the ground. And obviously, you don't want that to happen, so... And, you know, you you want to avoid the pipes. You want to avoid crashing to the pipes. And it's pretty fun. Um, I mean, of course, this, if this were to become a retail game like Angry Birds did, then this definitely wouldn't survive, but... You know, that's very unlikely considering that the creator pulled this from the App Store for some odd reason. Well, anyways, um, but there are knockoffs you can find. Um, but anyways, um, let's go on to the graphics. The graphics are pretty good. The graphics are pixel art. It looks, it looks good. I mean, it, it doesn't look like anything special, but... I mean, this is a mobile game, so you can't expect too much. I mean, it's not like this is a full-fledged retail game or anything, but there are retail games that use pixel art and are very good. But, you know, I mean, the graphics for this game are pretty good. Definitely not bad. And the overall character design for the bird looks appealing Flappy for the Flappy Birds. Um, whatever you call them, flappies, I don't know. Anyways, um, let's see, what next, what next? Um, so let's go on to the difficulty. This game is difficult, but, I mean, you can't hate it for being difficult, because, I mean, if you lose, then it's your fault. It has nothing to do with the game. That's something that people usually rage about when playing a game. If they lose, oh, this game's too hard. Nope, your fault. There's a difference between a game being glitchy and unplayable and a game that's, you know, controls well, you know, it's fine, but it's just hard. That's your fault if you lose. You have to keep playing if you want to get good. Well, anyways, let's continue. So, we covered the difficulty. Finally, the music. 
Mainly just the sound effects. Alright, the sound effects can usually get annoying. Just, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's annoying. Because you have to do that if you want to progress through the levels. You know, tap on the bird, and whenever he does that, you hear this noise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's annoying. But anyways, overall, I give this game a 6 out of 10. Because, you know, it's not the most robust game, but still pretty good. Anyways, goodbye.